This video lesson is on the monetary equation of exchange. In the monetary equation of exchange, the money supply times the velocity of money equals the price level times the quantity of goods and services. M stands for the amount of money in circulation, which includes M1 for measures of money supply. V stands for the income velocity of money. Income velocity of circulation or average number of times one dollar is spent on final goods and services in a particular time period. P stands for the average price level of final goods and services, also known as the GDP deflator. Q stands for real GDP or real value of all final goods and services. In these two charts, we will be comparing the M1 and M2 measures of the money supply. We have years 1990, 1995, and 2000. We have M1 representing billions of dollars as well as M2 representing billions of dollars. V for velocity, P implicit price deflator for GDP, Q, real GDP in billions of dollars, and PQ, nominal GDP, billions of dollars. How do we find the missing components? Since money times velocity equals price times quantity, you plug in the information to the formula that is provided to find the missing components, which are in green. What is the difference in value of M1 velocity and M2 velocity? M1 is larger than M2. M1 is used for transactions. A significant portion of M2 is used for savings, so it doesn't change on a daily or weekly basis.